What is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to another hot banger reaction just for you guys. It is Saturday. The weekend is here. We done made it. I want to thank you guys for the tremendous love you showed my daughter, Baby Army. Uh, she filmed one this morning, if you haven't seen it, and then one last night. She absolutely loves filming these, so yeah, we're going to try to have her on a lot more. Now, we have another recommendation. I'm kind of familiar with like one or two of these, but I didn't know there was like a trilogy. So y'all were like, you got to see the August D Sugar Trilogy. And I was like, all right, let's watch it together. What better time to watch it than Saturday morning? Thank you guys once again. Sub button right there. Now because of you guys, we're on the race to 19K. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> so I got a lot of stuff working up here, like, you know, special things to do for y'all. But yeah. We're on the way to 19K. Please also turn on the notification button. I noticed YouTube is very weird lately. Sometimes it, the numbers go up and it recommends stuff, but sometimes it doesn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? So if you could not only sub, but turn on the notifications bell down there, that'll help a lot. Anyway, let's have some fun. Let's go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Today's a sugar day, baby. Well, it's a trilogy day. I remember how hard this one was. But it's been some months since I've seen it. I don't remember a lot of the video. But I do yeah. remember this part right here. Oh, shit. Ooh, I remember that. I remember that. Calling out you weak pop, <laughs> you weak pill poppers like you. You know what's crazy is now learning more about sugar in his background. Because when I watched this, I didn't know anything. I, I didn't really know anything. You know what I'm saying? This is like almost my first introductory. So now seeing a lot of the backstory and coming back here, a lot of it's clicking. You know what I'm saying? To why he created this and wrote this in the first place. Let's go. Watch all you flaws. Flexing, I don't need none. Oh, right there, TikTok. Got to stick up your ass. I'm about to spit in your face. Damn. Come on, sugar. Woo. I don't know if I made the right decision. <laughs> Listening to sugar this early in the morning. It's about like seven or eight by the time I'm recording this in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So you could either have coffee to wake you up or you could have some of this sugar. You know what I'm saying? Or you can put some sugar in the coffee. You know what? That's I'm getting too deep. All right. Let's continue. Oh. Got his Kanye on right there. Right there where he's talking about I'm a genius. I'm 
I'm so thankful I'm a genius. That's your excuse for popping pills. Cry me a river. You just got no skills. Bars. Oh, this is part I like right here too. Dun, 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 that oh, that level change, the way his voice just switched up. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Mm. This is the part I remember being confused about. I was like, did they just behead this dude? But they did it, you know? Right there. I was like, what the hell did I just witness? But he's still fully intact. They cut his ropes. Oh yeah, and he has the gun, right. Here we go. Golly, it's hardcore after hardcore. Oh, get the blood pumping, y'all. Give me them chopsticks. It's Saturday, it's the weekend. Let's strap in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He know them hit them. Yeah. Oh, not about to them. Yeah. Oh, chuck in a little much money. Plan to order and hit them. He know them hit them. Yeah. Oh, not about to them. Yeah. Oh, chuck in a little much money. Plan to order and hit them. Yeah. He know them hit them. Yeah. Oh, not about to them. Yeah. Oh, chuck in a little much money. Plan to order and hit them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on with them bars right there, right here. Mm. Mm. Slaves to YouTube, slaves to Fleckless, Fleck, Okay, 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 let me, obviously I'm overheating, hold on a second.
For those of you that might be wondering all this time, why does the Lonely Dad keep drinking out of a red cup and not a regular cup that normal human beings drink out of? It looks like I'm at a never-ending house party. You know what I'm saying? I'll explain that in, a, in, a, in a, another video. But for now, slaves to YouTube, slaves to flexing, selfishness, and greed have gone off the rails. Let's continue. Okay. Okay. Once again, him pointing the gun at himself. Burning that money. Don't that a nigga? He know that a nigga. Yeah. Oh, la, tap a nigga. Yeah. Poke jacked in a little much of money. Don't do that a nigga. He know that a nigga. Yeah. Oh, la, tap a nigga. Yeah. Poke jacked in a little much of money. Don't do that a nigga. Mm. You know, like this right here is, I feel like, one second. Was in the cop car. He said, you know what, Mr. Police Officer, pull over right here. I'm finna have me a bowl. That's the that's the swag. That's the power that sugar got. Mm. Okay, before we get into this one right here, I kind of feel like, you know, RM's latest album where he was describing it to Jin, uh, I'm sorry, Jin, Jimin. And he kept talking about, you know, he's going through this transition. He had all these feelings he had to let go. It was dark in a ways, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. A lot of the songs are boppers, but a lot of the lyrics are hard, you know. He's talking about, like, hypocrites and, you know, fucked up people and, like, a lot of stuff. Even Jimin was surprised, like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Like, who are these people, you know, that he met and whatnot? I kind of feel like Sugar, this right here, it's almost like a similar thing that he was going through. A lot of these verses are like talking about the haters, the doubters, you know, disrupting the normal flow of things. I even remember reading, if I'm not mistaken, that there were certain producers or somebody that was saying they were almost hesitant to release this stuff for Sugars because there was too many cuss words, right? It was almost too dark. But then other people were like, nah, you good. You can release it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the guys go through this feeling. A lot of the guys, I kind of feel, and let me know if I'm wrong or not, but I, Jungkook, Jimin, uh, well, yeah, I think it's the rap line, right? Because a lot of the singers, quote unquote singers, I think they are, they're more of the pop, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, they're more of the mainstream uh, when it comes to musical tracks that they release. A lot of their feelings are in there as well, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of their tracks are still like something that you would still groove to or still dance to, even though it's very emotional um, and very thought out. Not all of them. Obviously, some of them are slow. But what I'm trying to say is long-windedly is the rap line looks like those guys will go like, like hip-hop because they're hip-hop, obviously. But they'll get like this. It'll get dark, you know what I'm saying? And, of course, they'll show that light at the end of the tunnel. But anyway, I'm learning, y'all. I'm learning. We learn it together. Well, if you're new like me, we learn it together. But either way, we got one more. We got more, one more for this trilogy. Let's go. Mm. Oh. 
Hold on one second. Okay, the reason why I pause it is because I I don't I haven't seen this one. This one's new. I don't remember hearing this one. Oh, okay. Let's go. My my senses is tingling now. My spider senses. That made no sense. Anyway, I'm a Marvel nerd. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Mm. You know what's crazy? Where he says, on the month I was born in 93. At first, when I got this jersey, I was trying to figure out what the numbers represented. And then I realized it was the years they were born. That's what's up. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Mom's heart surgery. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. That right there. That accident. Wasn't that how he messed up his shoulder? Because I, re I remember he went through all those years of not getting his shoulder like repaired correctly. And it just kept coming back or getting worse. And he finally had to have surgery. And I think when he shot that video with Psy, um his shoulder still wasn't healed. Like he just got out of surgery and he technically wasn't supposed to be performing yet. Cause there was a lot of performances where he couldn't even use that, that side. Right. Um, and I remember there was a couple of instances where he couldn't perform and he was still going to perform and they said, no, you're not going to go on right now. So yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm connecting dots. I'm connecting dots. All right. Mm. Still got that scar right there. Shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, I, oh, this is getting so deep right here. But then I love the level switches here, and now he's showing the pills right here. Ooh. Damn.
man, I guess that's what makes BTS uh, in in artists like Sugar slash August special, right? Because they're not afraid to talk about their pain, like the real pain, you know what I'm saying? And put it in the song. And anytime you can do that, it just translates, right? It gets, makes you so transparent that everybody watching can relate. Because who out there doesn't have pain, doesn't have heartbreak, isn't crying, you know what I'm saying? Isn't experiencing emotion. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm leaking. <laughs> Shit. All right. I didn't think the trilogy was going to do this to me. But look, yeah, it makes it relatable. And that's what that's what we need. It's, it's therapy. You know what I'm saying? It's straight therapy. Oh, real quick. I wanted to look up the um, meaning of that last track, right? The amyg uh, amygdala, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, from what I looked up, it says the region of our mind. It's a region of our minds most responsible for handling emotion, process, and regulating those emotions, but also plays a role in encoding memory, uh, particularly when memories have highly emotional component, uh, to put it simply. And then um, if you look at his song, he's talking about his father's cancer diagnosis, his mom's heart surgery, and his own road accident. So yeah, all right, there we go. I just wanted to make sure I had that word because I, I didn't, I didn't, I've never heard that word before or that term. So anyway, it's a lot. Once again, we just started the day and I'm already fully drained, but I am uh, appreciative that I have y'all uh, to experience this with me. So thank you so much, Army. As always, I'm going to do my best to post another video today. If not, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Thank you guys for the massive love. I'll purple y'all as always. Peace.